What's up, everyone? So uh, I'm here with Naomi. We're going through the top 10 coins, and we're starting with the alpha, the big dog, Bitcoin. And the first question I'm going to ask Naomi, do you know the significance of Bitcoin dominance? <laughs> no. Okay, so we're going to go over that. That's the most important thing anyone should learn first is that we track basically how the crypto market is doing with whatever the market share the Bitcoin dominance is. So I'm going to click on this link right here. And right now it's like 51 or 53% of the entire crypto market is Bitcoin. And what's crazy is remember when you said you first bought Bitcoin in 2014? Yeah. So if we go back at this chart, I'm going to read it out to you. Bitcoin was literally 88%, no, 89% of the market. And like Litecoin was only 5%. I don't even know if you heard of it. So basically for a very long time, all of the value of crypto was in Bitcoin. And then something very important happened. So basically in 2017, in February, so this is before I first bought my crypto. My first crypto was July. The Bitcoin dominance goes from 86%. Damn, you were late. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. I know. And by the way, so everyone knows Naomi Please. has three more years of crypto experience, but I'm still trying to explain to her. <laughs> Anyway, so in 2017, it crashed. And look at this. So when I first bought in, in like July, well, in June, the lowest point was 38%. So in June 16th, the Bitcoin dominance went out down to 38%. And so guess who took most of the market share of Bitcoin? What coin, Naomi? Do you have any ideas? Ripple? Very close. Good for you. That's the number three coin. Ripple at the time was 9%, but it's the number two coin. Do you know what the number two coin is, uh, Naomi? No. Ethereum. And, and, and we're going to make another video. So the next video is going to be on oh, Ethereum. So I have basically, a story about these. Yes. Yeah, so Ethereum in, in June becomes almost 27% of the market where Bitcoin goes from like 80% to 40%. And so... Like I said, anyone that's new to crypto should kind of follow these trends because like now have you seen how like basically that when crypto took its first little um, dump or like correction, the Bitcoin dominance went up to almost 60%. And then we had the bull market, uh, the bear market. And so when, no, sorry, the bull market. So when there's a bull market, Bitcoin dominance usually goes down and uh, the other altcoins go up. And so altcoin would be any other coin other than Bitcoin. Does, does this all make sense or am I totally nerding you out right now, Naomi? Yeah, yeah. So this is all making sense. sense to you. Okay, and if Naomi gets it, you guys should get it. Even though, let's give you some props because she doesn't bring this up and I didn't even know this. She graduated from ASU at 19. So you are smarter than the average uh, bottle service chick. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, so that's what you need to... Uh -huh. Yeah. So this is what you need to kind of pay attention to. So right now, Bitcoin is going back up. The dominance is going up. Why is Bitcoin's price going up, Naomi? It's now at 53%, where a month ago it was 37% of the market. Why, why is Bitcoin's price uh, dominance? I don't know. Oh, professor. The reason why it's going up is because we're in a bear market. So when cryptos are crashing, when the price of crypto crashes, that means altcoins will usually lose a lot more value because everyone's getting rid of their altcoins and they're going into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is kind of like the safe bet when cryptos are getting destroyed. Does Dang. that all make sense now? Yeah. And so just follow this trend. So this trend really just started two years ago and it's been very, very like easy to predict. When I say easy to predict, it's just when cryptos... Oh, you got kicked out of the call. Okay, so Naomi got kicked out of the call. This is the end of this video.